so before we get started just want everyone to understand that I purchased this piece of equipment I've not been asked by Cave Creek to do a review or been given any kind of incentive to do a review uh, this is just my personal opinion and experience with this product cheers so this is the pet palace by the company Cave Creek Hammocks. It's a small cottage industry in the States uh, and I've never bought any other product from them but this particular product and I actually got it um, about a year and a half ago uh, and I used it all last spring doing what little camping I was able to do uh, and uh, had wanted to do this review for some time and I'm finally getting around to it. Uh, for hammock campers uh, this is actually designed for you to take your pet, your dog, along camping with you so that the dog is sheltered from insects uh, and the elements and is kept contained with you in your hammock space. When I saw it and it was introduced to me by a friend who thought I might find it interesting, uh, I don't have a dog to camp with, but I thought it would be a really great tool for someone who is a hammocker, who does like going out in the spring conditions with all the black flies and mosquitoes, and uh, just wants a space to get out of the bugs themselves. Um, it's a lot easier than me dragging my Eureka uh, bug shelter around and a lot lighter. So a few of the technical specs on this particular piece of equipment. It comes in two sizes and the one I have here is the smaller size. The bathtub floor comes in a 45 inch depth, eight inch high wall with a 60 inch length floor. You can get it one size larger with an 84 inch length floor and the other specs are the same. The height of the unit from the inside to the ridge line is approximately 58 inches. So not a lot of head space if you're planning on standing up. That won't be possible. The ridge line on this is approximately 100 inches across. And I have mine strung on a continuous ridge line. Uh, I actually stole it from my tarp and I'm going to replace my tarp ridge line. I prefer to have this hung... Um, on an independent suspension system. Uh, I suppose you could rig it to uh, hang along with your tarp, but I just find it a lot easier um, and I think safer just to uh, put them on a, their own individual system. This can, however, be tied out end to end to a tree rather than on a continuous ridge line. So the eight inch deep bathtub floor is made out of PU coated 2.2 hex 70. Uh, so it's quite resistant. It's uh, um, really designed again for pets. Um, it's got quite a bit of durability. Uh, when you do order this particular piece of equipment, know that it does not come uh, with any uh, coating on the uh, corners which are sewn. So for an additional uh, $10, I believe they will uh, do uh, seam sealing on those corners for you. Or you can do them yourself and save the $10. The zippers, it has a double zipper here and it is a number three, I believe. Yes, yeah, so a number three double tab zipper. Goes all the way up to the top and you can open it all the way around and back up. And if you want, and the bugs aren't too bad, you can open it right up. As an entry point, uh, it's pretty accessible. I will say that having been out when the uh, black flies were really, really bad. Uh, it is challenging getting in and out. You're always going to take some bugs in with you. For that reason, I do actually keep the bug net on my hammock so that when I get in it at night, I don't have any bugs in there. And the one or two that may get in there, I'm able to get rid of before I actually go to sleep. So one of the options available on the Pet Palace are pullouts and these are available on the front and or the back of the pet palace there's one on either side of the zipper 
and then two on the back side, but they are purchased individually. Uh, each set is $5 US. Uh, so for the total $10 US, I chose to get them. Uh, these can be either pulled out and tied off to another tree, uh, possibly the ground, um, or you can use um, tie-out uh, rods. Uh, that can go over the ridge line and pull out the tarp or the um, shelter that way. I do not actually own uh, pull out rods uh, and eventually maybe I'll purchase some but I thought for the cost I would rather have them and have that option than in the future want them and have to go through the process of getting some sewn on. So, uh, other options available are an assortment of colors uh, for your bathtub floor. It comes in robin's egg blue, burnt orange, charcoal, olive and coyote uh, so there's that as an option and uh, there's uh, probably I believe eight or ten different thread colors that you can use uh, when having your stitching done uh, I chose to just go black and keep it simple uh, this is actually a 10 foot hammock inside of this shelter although it will accommodate an 11 foot hammock uh, but it will uh, go all the way out through this channel then but it will fit into this size uh, shelter without any problem. So as you see I've hung my under quilt uh, on my hammock and I'm going to show you what I do during the day to make myself comfortable in my little tiny bug shelter. So for reference, I'm five foot two, and this gives me a full arm stretch up to the ridge line sitting in the center of the tent. So lots of room to be able to sit back, relax in your chair, stretch your legs out, and still have plenty of headroom. Uh, I'm actually gonna bring in my larger Walmart special chair, uh, the kind everybody has in the back of their car, uh, just to see what the fit is like there and whether I can sit in that too. So here I am in my Walmart special, uh, sitting very comfortably in my tent. I can still put my hand up to the ridge line. So lots of headspace. For those of you that are a foot or more taller than me, I think you would find it quite comfortable to sit in here. So what about price? Well, the regular size that I have is 175 US, and the larger size is 195 US, and that's before you um, add any add-ons or options to it. Is it worth it? In my opinion, yes. I'm grateful for every nickel I put into it. Um, I've found it a great piece of equipment to use. Um, it takes a little longer obviously to set it up uh, with your hammock, uh, but it is worth the effort. Uh, there are some cons with setting it up. Um, sometimes you're not going to find that perfect flat floor uh, to place it on. Uh, there'll be a lot of roots or rocks um, and I've encountered that but still you're able to set it up on that uh, even though you may not have uh, great even flooring underneath you um, 
chair placement can be difficult, that sort of thing, but it's not a big deal. Uh, the only time I've found it difficult is if I've had to set up on a spot that's on a really steep slope uh, and then I've not been able to use it uh, but that's only happened once or twice um, so it, it's not been a big deal uh, it's not heavy to lug around with you at 23 ounces for the smaller uh, tent or 28 ounces for the extra large it's really not a big deal if you don't use it uh, on every campsite during a, a backcountry trip. So go check out Pet Palace by Cave Creek Hammock and Outdoor Gear Company. Uh, whether you've got a dog or not, it's a great palace for you too. Cheers.